morning, first grade. Welcome back to the phonics classroom. This morning, we're gonna jump straight on into our worksheet and practice some of those letter sounds we've been learning. So I'm gonna say a letter sound and we're gonna write the letter or letters that make that sound. Are you ready? Here we go. For number one, my letter sound is A. A. Letter A can make the A sound and A consonant Sneaky E can make the A sound. Excellent! For number two, my letter sound is W. W. Letter W makes the W sound. For number three, my letter sound is V. V. Letter V makes the V sound. For number four, my letter sound is I. I. Letter I makes the short I sound. For number five, my letter sound is K. K. So we're gonna divide our line in two parts. At the beginning of a word, letter C and letter K can make the K sound. At the end of a word, letter C, letter K, the digraph CK, and K, sneaky E, can make the K sound. For number six, my letter sound is P. P. Letter P makes the P sound. For number seven, my letter sound is E. E. Letter E can make the E sound. The digraph E. E can make the E sound. And letter Y can also make the E sound at the end of a two part word. Very good. For number eight, my letter sound is I. I. Letter I can make the long I sound. And I. Consonant sneaky E can make the long I sound. For number nine, my letter sound is Y. Y. Letter Y makes the Y sound. For number 10, my letter sound is Err. Err. The combination E, R makes the Err sound. Very good. Let's jump on down to numbers 11 and 12 and practice spelling some words. So for number 11, we're gonna spell the word into. This is a sight word, into. So I'm writing in to, into. Excellent. For number 12, we're gonna spell the word something, something. This word has two parts, some and thing. That makes it a compound word. So let's write the word some first. This is a sight word, so it isn't spelled like how we hear it. We just have to know how to spell this one. So some is spelled S-O-M-E. Some, now let's write thing. Ing. To spell the word something. Excellent job. All right, sweet friends, repeat these words after me and we're listening for the sound that they have in common. The sound that is the same in each of these words. Here we go. Aim. Braid. Train. What sound did you hear in each of those words that was the same? Yes, the long A sound. So let's look at those words on the board. Do you guys know what letters might be making that long A sound in these words? What letters do they all have that are the same? Yes, A and I. Those two letters are working together to make one long A sound. Do you remember what we call it when two letters work together to make one sound? We call
call it a digraph. So today we're learning the AI digraph. So just like all of our other digraphs, I'm going to code it by drawing a line underneath. So I'm drawing a line under each of my AI digraphs. Very good. So when we hear this sound, we hear the long A sound. So to code this digraph, we're going to code our A with the long symbol and we're going to cross out our I because our I is not making a sound, but it is working with that A to help it make the long sound. So this digraph is A. So I'm going to draw a long line above each of my A's and cross out the I. Excellent. Do you guys think that this digraph is a consonant digraph or a vowel digraph? Yes, it is a vowel digraph because it's making the long A sound. Very good. So this digraph is not used very often. You won't see this in a lot of words, but it's important for us to know how to read it for the words that we do see this digraph in. Another thing to remember is that if you hear the A sound at the end of a word, you're usually not going to use the AI digraph. We normally see this at the beginning of a word or in the middle of a word. If you hear that long A at the end of a word, stay tuned for tomorrow's lesson and we're going to learn which digraph we would use then. So let's look back at our worksheet and practice spelling some words that have this AI digraph in them. For number 13, we're going to spell the word rain. Rain has the long A sound. So we're going to use this AI digraph. Rain. Rain. Excellent. For number 14, we're going to spell the word paint. Paint also has the A sound. So we know we're going to be using our new AI digraph. Let's spell the word paint. P-A-I-N-T. Paint. Very good. And for number 15, we're going to spell the word aim. Aim uses the long A sound. So it's going to start with the A, I, digraph. And the last sound is M to spell the word aim. Very good, friends. Let's code a couple of these words together before you do some on your own. For number 16, our word is snail. Snail has the A-I digraph in it. So we're going to underline our digraph, code our A with the short symbol, and cross out our silent I. Very good. For number 17, our word is aided. Aided has the A sound in it. So again, we're going to underline our A-I digraph. We're going to code our A with the long symbol. We're going to code our A with the long symbol and we're going to cross out our silent I. This word also has a suffix. Can you guys spot the suffix? Yes, the ED suffix. So I'm drawing a box around ED. Very good. For number 18, our word is draining. Draining has the long A sound. It has the A, I, digraph. So we're drawing a line underneath, coding our A with the long symbol and crossing out our silent I. This word also has a suffix on the end. Can you guys spot the suffix on the end of this word? Yes, it is I-N-G, the ing suffix. So just like this word, we're drawing a box around our suffix. Excellent job, friends. I would like for you guys to try coding the rest of these words on your own. 
and then turn your paper over and practice reading a passage and answering some questions about that passage. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another fabulous phonics lesson. Bye guys.